should you spend any money on your new partner this holiday season mm. you know what hold on to that thought in today's okay. podcast cc and i we're gonna go over some tips some best practices and how to avoid getting in trouble so stay tuned <laughs> Blissful friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode, y'all. I'm your girl, CC, and I'm joined by my hubby. What's up, babe? Hey, welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. We're glad to have you. If this is your first time with us, please remember to subscribe and hit on that notification mm -hmm. bell so you can be notified when we put out videos like this one. Right. This is a weekly podcast, and in this podcast, we talk about Y'all know what we talk about here, love, life, family, relationship, whatever's going on, we're going to talk about it here. I just can't believe that we are in the last month of the year, okay? Believe it or not, it's here, it's December. I just can't believe it, y'all. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I feel like I mentioned this last six months ago that I said I'm not the only one that feel like why are we already half through the year and now why are we already like... At the end of the year. <laughs> so it is crazy, but hey, we blast. We're grateful to be here and still see 2023. And I know by the grace of God, we will see 2024. Oh, I expect to see Listen, 2024. I have plans in 2024, better not play with me. So anyways, guys, before we get into today's topic, as always, I want to share with y'all a blissful moment. <laughs> Right, so babe you have a bliss moment it's uh it's december it's, it's the, beginning it's to look the, like like christmas it's the merry months i uh i put up the the christmas decorations so sure we're feeling did. christmassy yes yes um i'm scared the kids are putting their christmas list together i'm, <laughs> I'm anxious to see what's in it mm. but but you know what they've been good so i'm sure they won't go all out and go crazy on it yeah her birthday's coming up. I'm looking forward to that as yeah, well. Yeah, my baby's um, birthday's so. coming up too. The baby girl's birthday. So yeah, it, up. you know, Christmas is always a, a joyful month for us because we celebrate. So November. Celebrating two birthdays. We mm -hmm. have the holidays. Yes. There's usually a gala our community has. If they do have it, we could actually we're going to several parties this, this holiday month. season. So we are. So yes, I'm looking forward to those. Y'all, we're gonna be out here partying. We got vacation coming too. <laughs> So. Hey, listen, it That's is. That's in two weeks, though. Not it is yet. a blessful month for you. Yes. You got vacation, you got parties, you got, you know, I think every I'm, year. I'm looking to make some money, too, so. But we have an event <laughs> coming up to this month, so. Yes. We do have an event two days this before, month. No, three days before the end of the year. Three days before the new year, yes. Yeah. So, listen, we're grateful, we're blessed. And I know I feel the same way, too. I feel the same way. Bless the woman is my birthday, my daughter's birthday, you know, um, my parents' anniversary too. You know, forty three years together. Amen. You know, God bless them. So that's, that's a long um, time. That is a long time. I think forty seven years together. Forty three years anniversary. So um, yeah, and she was like reminding me. She was reminding me yesterday. And you're she doing was something. Reminding me. No, she because you know my mom. She's one of those people like we're very similar. When it's our anniversary, you gotta get the call. You gotta make sure that. You get Someone the call. knows. Someone is making the call. Whether well, it's me, my brother, we got a call to wish them a happy anniversary. Of course, it's important. I want to know what would happen if you forget. If I don't forget, <laughs> I, I did actually <laughs> a few years ago. I did. I'm like, uh, I thought it was this this day of December. Yeah. She's like, I was waiting and no one called except for your dad. Of course, my dad always She should have sure. sent you a text to call her. <laughs> well, <laughs> My dad always makes sure that it's chocolate. There's, you know, the cards. Yeah. He always taking care of her doing the um, their anniversary. But hey, listen, we do have a lot going on this month. You know, I feel like it's, good. it's gonna go by to fast, to. though. I tell it you, really it's gonna, gonna go, go by, by fast. real fast. I just can't believe last week was Thanksgiving, and now we like in Christmas spirit already. So that they say time flies when you're having fun. I don't know about that, or when you're busy. <laughs> Or when you're busy, and I feel like the grown-ups are like, wait a minute, I haven't taken care of this yet. Why is the year already ended? And I feel like the kids are saying, like, they can't wait to see Christmas. Because the kids, I feel like when we're younger, we feel the same way. We can't wait to see Christmas. We can't wait mm -hmm. to see the new year. 
you know, we can't wait to have fun and have a good time. But listen, I, I'm here for it. So whatever happened, happened. I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. Anyway, yes, this, but I've been working out too. You know, I've been doing my exercise, working out, keeping it staying fit and looking good. You know, for my birthday coming up in December, so I just make good. sure I put that in there. That's good. <laughs> so why you gotta sit like that, baby? That's <laughs> that's absolutely good. So we've heard a lot. Of course, y'all know I can I can keep going. Okay, now let's get into the topic of the day, which <laughs> is: Should you spend money? On your new partner, decided on your this new season. boo. Okay, it's your new boo, y'all. Should you spend any money in new boo this holiday season? Well, people would be expecting you to. I know. Um, if I was a woman and you just got with me, I would expect you to do something for me. That's kind of what society says, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And as yes. we know, we know the holiday season is always associated with gift giving. This is kind of. That's just what it is. That's, that's, it is what it is. That's how we were. Well, we're told. Told. We. And it's kind of expected. You got to give gifts. Yes. You know, and, and, and when it comes to a new relationship, it could be tricky. Well, first, you're trying to learn this person. You don't quite sure. You're not quite aware of what they like yet. Right. Um. It could be an expensive person while you're a cheap person. Hey, listen. <laughs> and you go buy them something at the dollar store and then mm, you bring it to them. The and dollar store, babe? It's still a gift. Mm, okay. Now, here's the question. <laughs> Do you go all out, you know, lavish gift? Mm -hmm. Or are you the type who keep it low key? Should you keep it low key? Should you? Hey, listen, here's the thing. We're going to share some ideas with you. Baby, as a man, should you keep it low key? Yes, you should save some money. You know, that's, 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 listen, that's how I sit. If you don't okay. have to spend extra money, okay, don't. However, if you know your person and they like you to spend money, then you kind of have no choice. Yeah. Right? Well, here's the thing, too. Like, there's men, there's people out there who may want to do, like, the show up way. Like, they may want to show up and show the girl that, hey, I can afford this. But then yet, yet you don't really have it to spend it. Well, people are the way they are, right? Now, the holiday season, yes. It, it could pose unique challenges for couples, mm -hmm. uh, especially when when it's early yes. in, 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 yes. in the relationship. Just like you mentioned earlier, you're still learning the, you're still learning the person. You don't yeah. know who they are yet, so it can be a challenge. And, and this, this is where it's important to communicate. Right. It's important to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And you got to make sure you're on the same page. I agree. Because um, you could be expecting something lavish. Yes. And here I am thinking that I'm just going to order some cheapy stuff from Amazon. <laughs> Maybe no dollar store from Amazon okay. and give it to you. <laughs> but but you, you, you got you to gotta talk to each other. Mm -hmm. This way you can set some expectations, some boundaries, some plan. You know, right. discuss what you're comfortable with. Because at the end of the day, that would be one thing that will avoid any misunderstanding. I agree. And I feel like sometimes, you know, the holidays are very similar to Valentine's Day, right? We want to please the partner, want to please the girl or the boy or the guy that you're dating yeah. because we, we we in love or or we want them to know that, hey, I see you. I got you a nice watch that I may have to Put Spend the rest, of, <laughs> the rest of my life paying, paying for, for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> or I get you something that I know that I... That I know it's expensive, but I feel like that's the thing when it comes to the holidays and Valentine's. It's like we tend to like not putting any boundaries, any any like communication. Hey, what are we spending? And sometimes it may feel weird. Like to me, I feel like sometimes it's weird sitting down with you as my partner. Just talk about, OK, what are we spending money on? Um, well, but, how much are you spending money on? Unless you know, you're and, married. And that's the reason that. Sometimes people get into trouble because it's not an easy conversation to have, it's but not. it's but it's a necessary conversation to have. Right. And and if you're with someone, you have to be able to have these financial conversations with them. But it's someone new though. It's like a new boo that you with. How but that's you? the same person who's going to expect you most likely to spend something that you probably didn't in, didn't intend to spend. So it, it would rather be, you know, let's from the get go. Let's say okay. 
from where I'm coming from, we don't spend more than this on each other during the holiday season. Right. This where we know that there's a cap. <laughs> Have that conversation. Listen, set a budget because we're not all the same, right? And he's if I haven't had just guy, so if, if a- I had just to <laughs> learn who you are, and even if I did, but if if you're someone who wants like a thousand dollar gift, and my budget can only afford a fifty dollar gift, what does sound like AL? <laughs> not ill, but he's. <laughs> He's got some good points. Y'all, we follow this 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 young man on YouTube uh, and social media too platform, and he is a stingy he's dude. Not, okay, he's, not he's stingy. single. Now that explains why he's still single. Don't, because don't, don't call him stingy. He's not. I feel like he's stingy. Okay, I feel like he's stingy. And that's why he's still single. I'm just saying. I know he got some great values. He's well. Yeah. He's a wealthy black man. Yeah. But I truly feel like he's stingy. Listen, he's got wealthy because he knows how to treat money. Yes, I understand and that. But if you're with someone and you have it, you can't be that stingy with a girl. I'm just saying. <laughs> let me just not say, let, let me go back to what I was saying. Have a budget. And listen, the best way to avoid issues is to know what the expectation is. So if you have a budget, sit with your okay. significant other. Set up a plan as to, and, and, you know, I'd rather have you have the conversation early on and she called you stingy. Maybe you come to a compromise, Mm -hmm. but I'll tell you on the day of unwrapping the gift, it'll be a completely different thing. If you give her something or you give him something that they were completely not expecting, not in a good way. That is Mm -hmm. so, you know, listen, the way you approach money conversation with your new partner is important because that could mean where do your account your your relationship is going somewhere or is it going to stop here because if you see money differently then that's a problem i think sometimes too it can be very challenging and i think sometimes it can lead to disaster you know because if you the man you're comfortable talking about money of course and so i feel like y'all very comfortable because us women we may not feel as comfortable say hey and sometimes so we feel like when you coming and in, in, in talking about, okay, the holiday is here. I know we've only been dating for three months. Now, here's my budget. <laughs> it's 150 or it's this amount of money. For you, it's going to feel comfortable to tell me your girlfriend or the girl that, that you dating yeah. about the budget, the what what you can spend money on me for the holidays. But for me, I feel like when I'm with someone or if I'm dating someone new, I just want to go all out, even though sometimes I know it can be a challenge if you, if you don't have it because you're trying to please the other person. Yeah, but, like. but, you know, if, if the pleasing is so much based on materialistic things, then, then we're taking the wrong approach. Because if, if, if I'm with this person really gelling with each other, mm-hmm. we can leave the material stuff out of it. Oh, well, yeah, sometimes. And having a conversation about, hey, listen, this is the budget we're setting for the holiday when it comes to gift giving. If that becomes a problem, then right off the bat, we know that financially speaking, we are not compatible because we're seeing money differently. Now, we have to be mindful of everyone's situations. Hey, listen, I, I could have potentially get with a girl. And she's maybe financially way well off mm-hmm. than I am. Right, right. But that doesn't mean if if I if there's certain things that's that's not within what I can afford that right. I can't bring those up. I should be able to. It's just the conversation. That's what I'm trying to picture. Yeah, but in, like, it, like for us, we're married, right? We know yes. each other very well. We can say, you know what? Every holiday we have a budget. We have a list of things that. Yeah. If you get this, I'm good. If you don't get it, I'm good. We have a list of things and we pick out of the five, which is which which one we're going to go with. We talk about it. But being with someone new, I mean, it doesn't it's not going to feel comfortable. Yes, I understand that we have to be mindful of each other's and, financial and needs. And it doesn't have to feel comfortable. Right. That's that part. It doesn't it, have to feel comfortable. It's just this It doesn't part have right to. Here. But mm-hmm. if you're looking to spend maybe the rest of your life with this person, I mean, where this relationship goes, I don't know. But... When you're in a relationship with someone, you have to be able to have the difficult conversation. Now, sometimes financial conversation is a lot less difficult than you think. 
Because a lot of times, because of how we feel about certain things, we expect the other person is going to feel the exact yeah. same way, which will cause a clash. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, but bring it out. I'd rather have you have an extensive conversation. Maybe some names will get called, and maybe at that point you'll determine, hey, listen, is this something that we want to continue being in, or is it something that we want to break away from? Because if you're incompatible when it comes to money, right. If it's not an issue now, mm -hmm. it's going to be an issue later. Yep. I so agree. rather have it be now than later. So yes, I agree. Set a budget. You a know, budget is good. A give, friendly budget, though. Listen, if it's uh, <laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna set a budget where there's a cap on what we want to spend, then hey, listen, make it something that works for you. Mm -hmm. You only you know where your bank account can go. Right now, what I say is don't go in and charge things on credit cards that you'll spend the the next year paying for. Yeah. But for some companies, it's a good thing because they charge your interest on it. But know, know what you can afford. Right. And don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to bring up, this is what I can afford. Uh, in the beginning. Don't, don't be ashamed to state what you can afford. In the beginning, this will be a challenge. But I want to say well, that. I'm saying this to every guy out there. Baby, you would not. I don't think you'll be comfortable telling me, babe, I have this much money and this, uh, that I'm comfortable buying gift for you during the holiday season <laughs> oh okay well we didn't have the socks so i'm just saying i'm glad we didn't have it but i've always i've always operated within what i can't afford <laughs> and i'm always to me okay now to me i'm always like it's the thoughts that count okay I like the quality time that we get to spend together, which make up for it. I like the fact that you go beyond and, and, and you thought about this and you get me this gift, right? Yeah. It's not so much about the luxury bag or the luxury shoes or the red bottom shoes or the car, the purses. Although when we're dating, um, you know, we, we used to get nice stuff because we both were, we didn't have kids. You know, we were yes. like, into but, but, but it was still things, years. but it was still things that we could afford. Right, right, right. I know that there's people out there, they want the expensive stuff. And if they can't get the expensive stuff, it's a problem. It's a wrap. <laughs> and, and if it's, you know, a wrap, it's a wrap, <laughs> then let it be. <laughs> One thing I want to say, though, with the way things are nowadays, with the financial that are going on, with the things are, things are a bit expensive. So I can... I'm pretty sure if you're dating someone new, you would have a heart to be like, you know what? I understand he make X amount of money per year. So therefore, let me just lay low and be happy with whatever I get. Difficult times or not, I think people need to put gift where gift belongs. Gift shouldn't be what your relationship based on. Mm -hmm. And yes, the gesture counts more because I uh, believe me, I've known people who would go all out and give the most expensive gift, mm -hmm. but their relationship is still crappy. Yeah. Same here. So for, for people out there who put so much weight on the value of the gift. Right. You, you're looking at the wrong thing. Right. Look at the, 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 the type of relationship you have. Right. Can you go through the moments of lack mm -hmm. without throwing a fit? If yeah. you could do that. You're good. Right. If the moment that you can't get what you want, it's a crazy problem. Yeah. If you're yeah. dating, if listen, I'm saying this all the guys. If you're dating and your woman is having like the craziest moment, if they're not able to get the things that they want, mm -hmm. you may want to start exploring other <laughs> options. <laughs> yes. I mean, you I think so. Well. I say this to say that. If it's this early, this person can't well, understand. Yeah. yeah. What's going to happen later? Because right. believe me. Things get more complicated as you as you get deeper in your relationship. Yes, yes. There I will was, be there will be time that you just can't get the things. Right. Like, what if we're married? You're just going to make it hell in my house because we can't move to that new place we want to move to yeah. at the time you want to move to. Right. Right. So th there's some behaviors that's that are signs you should pay attention to True. early on to see is this. Is this something that I can deal with later on? Yes. Or how much can this potentially magnify? Now, there's sometimes you can help people understand. Yeah. Right? Sometimes yes. people may throw it because of lack of an understanding. Right. And maybe we need to guide them a little bit. But if you yes. can't guide them. Yes. Yeah. I agree. One thing I was going to say is not look for other options, but communicate with your partner. 
but if we're setting the budget, if we if we haven't, because we just talked about community, if we've if we've <laughs> talked, we we try to get to a resolution, and we just can't get to a place. Then it's a problem. <laughs> then it's a problem. Yeah, because we already you, said communicating. This is when we need to like, hey, this is not working. Right before you start exploring other people <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Because <laughs> you never know. Let's sit down and talk about this is not working. We're going to have to. Oh, I'm assuming you know, we've had that talk already. Okay. You're like way beyond. <laughs> I'm beyond you're that. like beyond that. Okay. Listen. But listen, like you said earlier, it's not just about receiving gifts. It's not just about. It's well, me, it's good to give gifts. It's, it's I'm right. not opposing it's gifts. It's great. But I think. I'm opposing what. The expectations are sometimes right. right no hey listen give gifts i give gifts to her and the kids yeah and sometimes other people yeah sometimes <laughs> with mom yes your sister. yeah so hey, listen gift giving can be emo- can be an emotional thing it, and, and it, it could be well, yeah, it is. It can <laughs> be for some people. It's uh, it's a love language. This is kind of how they express their love, or this is how they feel love. Right. And I'm not insensitive to people who's like that. I believe you should get gifts. It's just Listen. that it has to be what I can afford. <laughs> right. I'm always gonna say this. I get gifts from my husband, and for me, it's the thoughts that counts. I don't want to get like a regular gift. I want to get, I thought about this. I got it for you. Here's the reason why. It doesn't have to be $100. It doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah. It could be something very minor that has my name. And, and and it's the thought. It's very thoughtful of you to and beyond and get this gift, right? But yes, you really have to understand your partner's love language. Sometimes they may want to spend quality time. I think you mentioned that earlier. Sometimes they may want to receive the gift. Some people have... This the gift thing is like a something that's pretty big to them, and you gotta know who you're dating. You gotta know who you dating. I'm gonna say this one more time. You gotta know who you dating. If it's if it's too early and you haven't learned who they are or what they're like, this is where that conversation <laughs> comes into play. <laughs> Up front, you know what what's important to you what do you like how do you normally spend your holidays and 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 that will help you learn what's important to this person can you imagine you meet someone like in december like right before the holiday many people are meeting each other listen for the amount of parties that are happening in december i'm sure people would be getting <laughs> That's together true. right That's and, true. and and it's okay to have and this is why we say conversation is very important because having a conversation with this person around what they're like what's important to them mm-hmm. and it's okay to have that conversation right because at the end of the day, that will allow you to say, okay. And and be open, people. I think maturity has to do with this, too. Oh, yeah. If you're mature enough, you can have this conversation. But if you're like one of those people where, you know, you not into when I sit down, then it's going to look like, okay. But how, how, why would you not want to talk to the person yeah, like I'm that saying, you if are you dating? Are, if you are mature enough, you can have this talk. But there's Now, if it's a one night stand, you had maybe there's no well, conversation. In that case, if you want to keep this person around, you'll just give them whatever. We'll keep them around. <laughs> but but if, if, if it's someone that you just say, you know what, really, we want to really spend some time together to see if we good for each other for the future then you should be able to have this conversation so if yeah. you meet in december hey listen i know the holiday is coming i know we haven't spent much time together to or really know what's important <laughs> tell me what's important to you this is why i want to make sure that i can get you something that makes sense right i mean i think it's right? a very and give a few choices yeah this way he'll he or she will have some options to choose yeah. or you could be very blunt and says i've always wanted this this is what i want simplifies it for someone like myself if you tell me exactly what you want, that's my I go husband. and pick that. My husband don't do well with it, like, it, don't give him hints. Because if you give him hints, he's going to lost. There's he's certain things <laughs> that I don't want to spend time trying to decide. He doesn't want Because if you already out. know what you want, let me know. This way, I just go, instead of spending two hours at uh, online looking for different things and thinking, would this work or will but this not work? But we like that. But if you tell me what you want, less than a minute. Because I can search for its name, I can put it in the cart, I can find a card, <laughs> and I can hit buy. But is this? And it shows up in a few days. It's it's not as special. 
So wasting my time is special. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I'm just saying, and I'm not the only one, which I happen to have someone that's very similar, where we like we like to give hints. We like to tell you, you know, I like to do this. I like to go there. But then we don't tell you directly. And then to what you like trying to figure out, are we talking directly? Are we trying to give you something? Are we trying to give you ideas to do these things? I feel like sometimes men don't do it. They don't get it sometimes. But for the ladies who really wants to they please their it. man and make it easier on them, be up front. Don't we be, don't, don't be like, like to be up front. Be we up like front to like we make love. it special. I know. I love when it's up front. You do. It simplifies things for me. You really do. I don't waste time on it. I can get it. See, it's the romantic part, though. It's like, you know. Me spending a whole lot of time trying to find this is for me. Where do I get joy out of that? You know how stressful it is? <laughs> In case if you ladies didn't realize, she knows. If you're out there, you're doing this. It's very stressful for us. Trying to think, is it, was it this that I was being given hint for? Or is it that? Or maybe is it that? Now, the moment that the choices become three of them, we're like, which one do I get? It becomes oh, stressful. About. No, but if it's one, I just go and get that one and I'm good to go. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know you don't. But anyway, so, <laughs> but learn what's important to your partner. You know, we mentioned earlier, knowing your partner's love language is very crucial. Yeah. It is. So there's tons of other ways. There's where you can, um, if you realize that the person that your, your new boo and likes to, you know, spend some quality time with you all the time. I know last week we talked about should you be spending time alone at your partner's place? Maybe mm -hmm. that's what they like. They like to be cozy in the holidays. They like to be spending time together and do some cooking and do some special planning and do some <coughs> meal together. So maybe they're more like, like about physical gift than. Yeah. I mean, different people have different things that's important to them. You know your partner. And you'll decide what makes sense. Yeah, and I think you gotta make them feel appreciated and love. That matters. If you know someone, you've only been you've only been with that person for a short period of time, it's good to make them feel loved and make them feel, you know what? I know it's only been a few months. I appreciate you. I want to give this to you. This is what I can't afford. This is what I. I don't even think you saying what you can afford should be even on there because you, like my husband said earlier, you discussed the um budget whether if you want to have something expensive make sure you go with what you can afford so if you want to give that to your new boo let, let them know hey i appreciate you and i love well you can't say the word i love you yet because it's still too early <laughs> just let them know you appreciate them and make sure that they, they feel loved yeah i mean learning your partner's love language will simplify things you'll know what's important to them and you you act accordingly because at the end of the day, your relationship is yours. Only you know what makes sense in it. Right. You know, we can sit here and make some some remarks, but at the end of the day, you'll find not every relationship is the same. Yeah. And they're never going to be the same, y'all. <laughs> they're never going to be the same. So, yes, I agree. Yeah. And, and don't compare stuff online. Don't compare stuff what's going on with social media because you might want to see this girl flashing her ring or her car or whatever it is, material stuff online. And you got this, you got yourself this and it's okay. Your partner is doing what he can and, or what she can to make you happy. Yeah. And, and you remember there's, there's a lot of things that can cause pressures. We're talking about societal expectations and so forth. You, you gotta think this is your relationship. Can you create your own traditions? Mm -hmm. Can you create your own rituals? things that aligns with your value and what make both of you comfortable. Now, the holiday season is supposed to be a happy moment, a joyful moment, a moment to make new connections, a moment to, to, to feel comfortable with each other. Right. You know, this is not a time where you let things get in the way, where yeah. you let certain things define how you feel. Pressured. So, so yeah, you know, make the best of the moment mm -hmm. and not let emotions and different things uh, types of pressures gets in the way to ruin it for you right i agree i i think you know it is a it's my favorite holidays it is my favorite holiday right yeah yeah it is the birthdays the parties and the yeah. parties the parties the parties <laughs> And it is a beautiful holiday, so don't make it where you with your new boo where everything turned upside down so 
it is a good thing that for you to know having like a communication where you have an open communication with your partner is crucial. Like we said earlier, especially if you're dating someone new. And I want you to remind, I want to remind you to have this conversation with your partner because you don't know where they stand and you want to make sure you happy because it's a happy season. It's a happy, it's a happy holiday. It is. <laughs> it's not like a upset holidays. It is, but you know, People has to be reminded what's important because sometimes people put so much, so much value on certain things that it changes the holiday. It gives the holiday different meaning. So it's supposed to be about Jesus. A reminder to you guys. Yes, it's a religious holiday, but Jesus wasn't born on Christmas. But yes, it is yes, a religious was. holiday. Yes, he was. <laughs> You're a Christian. You should know better. Uh, it is a religious holiday. I'll leave it at that. Uh, it's an opportunity to... To get connected with people, to, to spend, spend some time with family, spend some money. Why not? The retailers lo loves it, you know, and make money and, and do something that please you and something that please your partner. Right. Now, remember, many times it's not so much about how much you spend. It's about what you spend it on. Yes. If it's something your partner values, your, then yes, get it for them. If it's expensive and you can afford it, by all means, get it for them. If it's expensive and you can't afford it, make sure that you bring that budget conversation up right. just to make sure that you understand where we stand. But it's important. It's important to not let things get in the way and to allow yourself to enjoy that time with the person you say you love and hopefully act as if you love them. Yes, I agree. So, yes, if you're dating someone new, you with your new bull, please take it easy with the way things are nowadays, with the way the economy is. Um, be easy in your new bull, especially if it's someone that you want to keep around or that you want to keep her around. Make sure you do what you guys can do, what you can afford together to make each other happy. If he, if she has more than you, then by all means. But I think what my husband said earlier, have the talk have the conversation is so important, especially if you like in that new stage of your of your relationship, because you want to what we stand. You're probably going to be waiting for me to get you something very expensive. And here you are bringing me something that's like, oh, OK, is that it? And vice versa. So there's some men out there who ver who's very they're very expensive. They look forward to expensive stuff. They're very dramatic because mm -hmm. they want something expensive. So it's not just us. That's expensive. There's some guys out there who is very dramatic and have high expectations as well. So I think, you know, this holiday season, you know, especially the way things are again, it's good for you guys to sit around, sit, sit down together and have this talk. Because, like I said, if you want to keep him around longer, if you really enjoy him, having him around or having her around, y'all should have this conversation. I know it's going to be hard, but it's important. Right? Yeah, I agree. And you know what? I know many of you guys may be planning on spending time with your partner this holiday season. We did put out a video last year that talks about how to make the best time. As it should be somewhere in the screen there. Please check it out. Guys, this is our podcast. Should you spend any money on your new partner this and holiday your new season? Boo. Your new boo. You should. And you should do it. You should do what makes sense. Right? Uh, I'm not saying that wake you up. You should do it stingily. <laughs> If that if if stangely, that's what you can do, then do it. But you know, the key is make sure you do something. You know, uh, find out what's important to your partner and do it. And hopefully, we've discussed enough. I know we've gone back and forth on a couple of different views, and and, and what I hope is that we've given you guys enough of a of a variety of perspective on how you can view this. And right. at the end of the day, you still got to sit with your partner and look at what makes sense for you. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you.